Whether you have kids and are moving to the Newburgh area or you already live in the Newburgh area and are just trying to figure out what the different schooling options are for your kids, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm giving an overview of all the different schooling options in Newburgh. So public schools, private schools, online schools, the different homeschooling options. My goal is for this to be a fairly comprehensive guide because I know how overwhelming it can be our kids are at that age where we're having to figure out, okay, what do we want to do for school? And it can be difficult to make the different decisions. So this is going to be a guide going through the great schools uh, website, showing the public school options. I'm going to be going through uh, the various private schools, showing which neighborhoods the different uh, schools are in and showing you how to figure out exactly where you would need to be to go to a specific school. I'm going through quite a bit of material. So I've got my laptop in front of me. You can follow along as uh, we show the different things on screen and then make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to be sharing my own personal preference of what we would do for our family, what the different options we're considering are and kind of how we came to uh, our current decision. So hopefully this is a helpful resource and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the public schools. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Daniel Roberts. I'm a principal broker of the Joyful Roberts real estate team, and we are licensed with the local Premier Property Group office. So this channel is all about moving to Newburgh. We're helping people all the time who are reaching out, wondering about the different options, moving to Newburgh, wanna know what it's like living here. And ultimately we love helping people relocate to this town. So if that's you, you need a great team to help you move here, go ahead and reach out to us. If you wanna learn more about Newburgh, subscribe to the channel. Now let's talk about the different schooling options. All right, like I said, I'm starting with the Newburgh Public Schools. And the Newburgh Public School District has really gotten a bad rap over the past few years. And some of that is really good for a good reason. Um, there were issues with the past school district and lawsuits. There were low test scores, a lot of turnover, and that really uh, put a damper on a lot of people's perception of the district. Uh, the students in many ways are the ones who suffered because they were dealing with new staff and all of that. Um, but I think things are moving in the right direction. Uh, the current people that are kind of running things now are really wanting to change things around, are wanting to improve test scores and improve the experience for the students. So that said, I'm gonna be giving a quick overview of each of the schools. So starting with elementary schools, then middle school and high school. And I'm gonna be taking a look at the great schools rating online. And now one thing to note about great scores, it's definitely not everything. It's not always the best measure, um, but it's a good place to start when you're trying to figure out uh, which school might be a good fit for you and your family. All right, so first up, elementary schools. There are six elementary schools in Newburgh. Each one is in a different zone. So based on where you live, that's gonna determine which elementary school you're going to go. So if the elementary school is important to you, then it might matter to you which neighborhood you ultimately move to. You can also check out the website that we have linked in the bottom of the screen on Newburgh's website. That shows how you can identify a specific address and tell which school you would actually be enrolled in. All right, first up is Antonio Crater. Now this is in the north part of town at what I call the West Foothills neighborhood. And so you can see where that is on the map and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the grade schools rating. So overall it has an eight out of 10 grade schools score. Test scores, nine out of 10. Student progress, seven out of 10. Equity, nine out of 10. and for the test scores, it has nine out of 10. So you can see that students do quite a bit better than average. For student progress, students are doing about seven out of 10. So students make more progress than average compared to other schools around the state. And then equity is just talking about how students who are underprivileged typically are doing compared to other students. One thing to know about this school and, and some of the things with great schools is uh, it's it's not necessarily a wealthy neighborhood, but it's definitely not a uh, poor or um, low income neighborhood. So there's really not a lot of diversity that you're going to find in this neighborhood, just um, statistically. And so, you know, there's not going to be a lot of low income students that would even be measured against this. So it's kind of hard to really uh, do justice and, and give an accurate comparison in my mind. All right, next up is Dundee Elementary School, and I'll just quickly go over these ratings. So nine out of 10 grade school summary test scores, nine out of 10 student progress is 10 out of 10, and nine out of 10 for equity. Now Dundee obviously is gonna be if you're living in Dundee, 
And there is also a new elementary school being built on the south side of town, which you can actually check out in my Newburgh versus Dundee video, kind of towards the end, I share a little bit about that new school coming in. Edwards Elementary School is up next, and this is on the south part of town. And now this is one of the more uh, low income. There's a lot of mixed use, uh, high density residential units on the south side of town. So that really brings down the score for um, grade schools. Now, a lot of people who go to Edwards Elementary love it, but if you just look at the grade schools score, um, student progress, test scores, equity, then you're gonna find that it doesn't really score well. So regardless of the reason, this just gives you an overview um, that there are students who struggle at this school, um, but there are also students that thrive. All right, next up is Ewing Young Elementary. Now, Ewing Young is kind of out uh, west beyond the the school limits it's kind of out kind of feels like it's more out in the country and does pretty well as a 9 out of 10 great schools rating on um, 10 out of 10 test scores 8 out of 10 student progress and 10 out of 10 for equity again many people living out in the country those are bigger properties many of those properties are fairly expensive so you may also have um, higher income families out there now i don't know specifically about ewing young um i don't know many of the families that I, i'm familiar with that go there um, but my understanding is that based on where the school is and where that district is, we're going to have typically uh, higher end families that go there. All right. Next up is Joanne Austin Elementary School. This is based kind of in the, the middle north part of Newburgh. It has a six out of 10 grade schools rating, six out of 10 test scores, seven out of 10 student progress and six out of 10 on the equity rating. Next up is Mabel Rush Elementary School. It has a seven out of 10 grade schools uh, rating. It's more on the east end of town, so students who live on the east side of town are going to be put in this school. Again, you can go on the website on um, the school district and see exactly where you'd end up, which neighborhood you'd end up. So, uh, 7 out of 10 in grade schools rating, 8 out of 10 test scores, uh, 4 out of 10 student progress, but 4 out of 10 equity. So that is really what brings down the overall score is that the equity. So uh, disadvantaged students don't perform as well at this school as the rest of the students. If you are interested in moving to a specific neighborhood to get into one of these specific schools, reach out to our team and we would be happy to walk you through the process of identifying your top schools and maybe picking a couple different neighborhoods and ultimately helping you find your dream home or finding the home that you will at least want to be in while your kid's going to be at that school. If you need to sell your home, our team does have one of the best marketing plans out there. Not only do we do state-of-the-art uh, photography and 3D tours and videos, but we'll actually do a full walkthrough tour of your home. We take that video, we market it on this channel, and we promote that out all around this area so that your home gets seen by thousands of people. That has ultimately brought quite a bit of success to people who list with us. So if that's you, you need to sell your home and you want to make sure it's marketed really well while having a great experience during the process, reach out to our team and we'd be happy to walk you through that process. We also have great seller guides which you can download on our website. All right, next up, I'm going to be covering the middle schools. So there's two middle schools in Newburgh. It basically splits Newburgh East and West. So first up is Shehalem Valley Middle School. Now this is right next to Crater Elementary on the west side of town. It has a seven out of 10 grade schools rating, seven out of 10 test scores, nine out of 10 student progress, five out of 10 on equity. On the east side of town is Mountain View Middle School. And this is actually right next to Newburgh High School, which we'll be covering next. Mountain View Middle School has a five out of 10 grade schools rating, seven out of 10 test scores, five out of 10 student progress, and four out of 10 on the equity scale. All right, for high schools, there is only the one option, and that is Newburgh High School. Newburgh High School has a six out of 10 grade school summary rating, and they rate it a little bit differently. They go by college readiness, which has a six out of 10, and then equity, which has six out of 10 as well. All right, up next is the online schools. If you don't necessarily want to have your students in any of the public schools, you want to do an online option, but you don't want to completely do uh, your own homeschooling option, there's a couple different online schools that you can choose from. So Shehalem Online Academy is a tuition-free virtual program for grades K through 12 in the Newburgh Dundee School District. There are online and hybrid options. I know there's a lot of families who go through this who really love it and it's worth checking out. They have a Facebook page and from what I can tell, they seem to have a lot of fun. It's, it seems to be a great option for people who wanna go that route. Another one that I know a lot of people really like is Alliance Academy. Now Alliance Academy is based in the EML Carlton School District. And I believe technically you have to get permission from the Newburgh Dundee School District to go that route. Um, but with the Alliance Academy, and actually I think it's the same for the Shehalem Online Academy, 
you get about a thousand dollar stipend for other extracurricular activities. So because it's based in the school district, there's still public funding available for that. So if you're moving to the Newburgh area, but that is an option you're interested in, you can reach out to the school district or to either of these academies and see what the different options are and how to get started. All right, next up, I'm covering the private schools. Now, there are three main private schools in Newburgh, and I'm gonna be covering those three. All of them have Christian roots. The first one I'm gonna be covering is Veritas. Now, Veritas is really focused on rigorous academics. So here you can see that they are the top 12% for SAT scores nationwide, and they rank in the top two for college readiness. So if you're looking for Christian education with a really strong focus on academics, Veritas is a really good option for you. Next up is C.S. Lewis, which is a smaller Christian private school in Newark. I know a lot of people who have gone to C.S. Lewis and they really loved it there. C.S. Lewis is really focused on helping students discover their potential. They have small classrooms and they want to prepare students for life in general. You can check out their website for more information. All right, the next private school is Ambleside of the Willamette Valley. Now, Ambleside is based on Charlotte Mason's teaching philosophy. The Charlotte Mason was an educator who really believed that education was an atmosphere, a discipline, and a life. So it's, it's about finding out who we are, how we fit into the world, and into the universe that God created. So that is her uh, philosophy. So one of the great quotes Charlotte Mason had was, the question is not how much does the youth know when he finishes education, but... How much does he care? So ultimately, Ambleside has an emphasis on habit formation. What does it mean to be human? And ultimately, how do we learn to treat each other well? And if you're interested in private schools, really do a deep dive into all three of these uh, because they all have their own unique perspectives and options. And I, I think all three of them really are great schools. All right, for homeschooling options, there are actually a ton of different homeschooling options. Every family who does homeschool wants to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to be covering a few of the main ones and basically give you some resources to how to start down that path if it's something that you're interested in. All right, first up is Firm Foundation. Now, Firm Foundations is a hybrid option. It also has Christian roots and their website says it the philosophy is holistic and takes into account spiritual health, cognitive abilities, social acumen, emotional stability, and individual projected educational outcomes of each of their students. That is kind of a mouthful, but ultimately it's a great option for people who want hybrid options. They don't want to go the private school route. They don't want to be completely on their own doing homeschooling and they want something in between. Ambleside Online is uh, basically, we just talked about Ambleside of the Willamette Valley, that is a private school, but Ambleside Online is for homeschoolers. So it's basically a, an educational resource for homeschoolers, and they have a lot of the same philosophies as the Ambleside School. Classical Conversations is another Christian homeschool program known for its community creation. So they're really about community. They have a lot of groups. They have a lot of resources for other homeschoolers. It's a great way to meet other homeschool families and mostly moms because that's who is doing a lot of the looking into this. And the last resource I'll share is the Newburgh Area Homeschoolers Facebook page. So this has a lot of people who are interested in homeschooling, always sharing their different ideas. There's always different meetup groups and things like that. So I highly recommend that as an option. All right, so we're at the end of the video. We went through all the different options for the schools in Newburgh. And now I said I'll give my thoughts. So personally, what's really important to uh, me and, and our family was a focus on developing character, a love of learning, and the way that we love each other and treat each other is more important than what a student knows. Now, I know it's important that all the academics are, are there, and that can definitely be a challenge if you're having to do it on your own, especially if you have kids that are in school and kids that are not quite school age. So if we were ever to do something beyond homeschool, our personal choice would probably be Ambleside. Now, while no school is perfect, I know there's been a ton of great fruit that's come from that school. Everyone I talk to uh, really seems to enjoy that. And, you know, ultimately it is for someone who has a Christian faith, and that is something that is important to that. So if that's something that is important to you, um, check out Ambleside online, check out the Ambleside of the William Valley, check out the different private schools. But ultimately, there's a lot of factors that go into the decision for choosing the school for your kids. So I hope this has been a helpful guide for you. Um, there's a ton of resources out there. You can go to the school districts, again, the private schools, the online homeschool groups, and uh, on the Newberg.de community page, there is actually a ton of conversation that happens, um, especially among the parents who want to know what the different schooling options are. So you can look at that as well. Well, I hope this video is helpful for you. Again, if you need a real estate team to help you walk through the buying or selling process, we would be more than happy to help you through that. 
You can also check out some of the other videos on the screen about Newburg, what it's like living here, and what the different things you need to know about Newburg are. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful for you, and I'll catch you in the next video.